I'm actually at the set of a cell phone tower, as you can see right there. I'm inside the vehicle, and right now I'm actually going to uh, show that um, our uh, cell phone blockers do in fact work. Right now we have a phone, iPhone. As you can see, it's uh, I just pulled it out of the bag, so it is up to five bars of reception since we are so close to the tower. Basically, uh, pretty much on top of it. Now, I'm going to insert it inside the bag and then see what happens. Shake it a little bit. Now, now we're going to see there's two bars. Uh, it, has, it says it has five bars, um, and it's going to take a little time for the phone to admit that it can't um, get a signal, but any second now, it's down to one last bar, and that is going to go off in a bit too no service and there you have it now uh, the question is how does this product stack up against competitors and that's a great question over here we have a competitor bag um, that I'm going to stick the phone into again you can see right now the phone has five bars and I'm going to put it inside this bag And let's see what happens. The bag, as you can see, is fully sealed. No issues with it. And let's see how the phone reacts. It's got five bars. So it's starting to be affected a little bit, but uh, so it's down to three bars. I would expect that it's going to reach uh, two bars by the end. Nope, looks like it's about three bars. And about in basically the same time, um, this product is not as effective, whereas ours is. Just have to uh, keep pressing the uh, button here, just to keep the backlight activated. So as you can see, our products actually are uh, effective when you are very close to the cell phone tower, whereas competitor products are not. Thanks so much for watching.